Mm. The morning from uh, Rangsit, Bangkok is uh, cool, cooler than usual with this light drizzle and rain yesterday. Um, today, I am continue on the um, recent progress up to date of the warehouse management system. We now have uh, more info windows and one of them is the uh, warehouse management info which give an alternative view to the locators or the uh, info products from, from the warehouse point of view because you can um, then see the setting for storage as well as what is, um, is present vacant capacity. You can set preferred products, uh, for in this case, Azela Bush is set to a certain uh, aisle. And you can have a uh, type of products like um, materials and hazardous chemicals, liquids, um, fast or slow moving to certain uh, locators. And during put away <coughs> or baking, this will come in handy. So. Let's get to starting uh, show all this in a fresh item here where I've just installed the um, uh, warehousing and it is completely uh, blank except that I've imported um, data set for um, types and um, handling units so but we have to uh, first generate locators because it's completely fresh. So let's set um, four hour, um, four bean and two level, four for two. For the uh, all warehouses, you just take a few seconds and it will be giving a running number. Here yeah, is 352 and then let's set the um, empty storage. Likewise, 442, you can put any number higher. It will just go and limit to locators. And let's put 10 vacant capacity. Okay. So we've got that all done. And the next thing is to set the um, types. Uh, let's say I like to set the cotton material. Or should I put uh, fragile material? To, um, to bushes and for this warehouse also so products will be matched to this location and let me have them at the second aisle so you put zero and zero for that so it should be done very quickly and um, you have to run type string because this will speed up process this is the catching method so for type string, I like um, cotton and um, bushes to be, it was the same store central anyway. So uh, let's run that. So they've set it. So now if you were to go to the uh, warehouse info window, you should be able to see this setting be made so let's have it um, look at this all central and you will see that fragile has been set for um, R2 all the rows, all the beans and all the um, levels in R2 is set to fragile and um, I like to set preferred product type for let's say let me uh, arrange them Let's say for the um, these two locators, I like to set the preferred product of um, elm tree. It's not the bush; it's a tree. So all the trees, please put it at um, level uh, level one and two of this. Um, been for section four on R one. So let me reset them again. So I have um, preferred products and type. 
Now, certain I want the fragile stuff to go here. So, if you go to now product, there are bushes. You will see that it is so. So, to look for products that are bushes, go to the category. Product category. And bushes. You notice that they have been set to fragile. So, a bush is fragile and the type is fragile. Okay, so um, actually, this should be set up uh, fragile as alien. I'll solve that in the code. Just for a demonstration. So, now when you are ready to um, receive goods, let me close all of this. Um, you start with your purchases. So, or you can do for picking, there will be sales, but in this case, now we will start with uh, purchases and we're going to create a delivery schedule. Let's say that we want to go after, you, you can send for everybody or, but in, in this case, let me just uh, pick a particular business partner, the tree farm, of course. So let's say I want to ask all of them, maybe Azalea M, to send it to gate one. And um, send it this Friday, and please, not too early, 11 a.m. So this has been sent. You notice it cleared because um, it was uh, existing and the rest is still there so if you to go to let's close that window if you go to the um, now the delivery schedule info and as goods come in you find that yes they're supposed to be delivered and you can mark them whether they are received or not in order to do so you could uh, zoom in and you could individually mark them or use a scanner or just process them to make all of them um, received. So if you have to refresh, oops, you have to say receive. There you are. Once they are received, you can then process them to be put away. Let's say, uh, I only have one guy and asking him, can you please put away the elm tree and the holly bush together? So I'm going to assign it to a handling unit. I have two guys here or two faultless or two tech. And yes, it's going to be the same. And um, I don't know where to put it. Just put it anywhere. So you just run it. And what the system would do I'm just debugging or shut off the debugger. And let it proceed. So yeah, it created three put aways. Now let's see what exactly did it put away. Okay, so you can see they have disappeared. To know what's been put away, you go to the inbound outbound where we analyze for you. Yes. Because there was a capacity of 10, you put it into two um, locators for Elm Tree and um, it's not been processed into the material receipt which we will do last, but this to demonstrate to you that the put away process work in that you're able to calculate that is 15 and you have a maximum capacity of 10. And um, if you would now, uh, and, and the last one, holy bush, went to another locator, and this bush goes to an arm um, that was set for, preferred for um, uh, uh, fragile, because all bushes are fragile. So we, we can check that by going now to the warehouse management window to see for yourself. And um, you, you can now see um, at the store concern how, um, 
um, uh, so to you can see who is full you see one is full is filled with the elm tree and of course you could uh, zoom in to see um, that particular locator and that he has a preferred product for elm tree and indeed it is full its vacant capacity is zero and if you were to go in you see that he's been assigned to 10 elm tree so this is rather uh, great and um, let's get back to uh, those that are not full um, but I could now uh, zoom in to say um, what product um, they, they have and um, you see that one of them is set to the elm tree is now having um, only five vacant capacity because it is um, been given with the other it's not full yet so you have information and it's linked to the inbound um, record which you can then drill through and trace where it come from so all this does not interfere with the core this is done by the ninja plugin and um, I do not in, uh, touch core code it's a beautiful decouple plugin from OSGI and, uh, and, and you, you can then uh, always have visibility and this is a work in progress uh, where we will um, have a lot of uh, features to able to analyze uh, all your uh, uh, vast locators especially for a large warehouse management system and after this when these are processed to receipts um, we will then look at uh, picking up from sales have a nice day here then I'm Red One. Bye bye.